If the USB port on your computer or server stop working, here are some potential methods to fix it. This could happen right after you powered on your device, after a Windows update, after a reboot or after removing or inserting a new USB device. The first thing you can try is to reboot your computer multiple times. If the first time when you reboot your computer, the USB ports did not get fixed, you can try rebooting a couple of times to see if a Windows update or some kind of a driver update that can go through and fix the USB ports for you. If that did not work, click Start, type Device Manager, and then open the Device Manager option, the program. And in here, what you need to do is to select the computer right here from the top, and then go to Actions, drop-down menu, and in Actions drop-down menu, select the option called Scan for Hardware Changes. So what we did actually open the Device Manager, select the computer, go to Actions menu, and select Scan for Hardware Changes. And that will scan for any hardware changes or potential issues that your computer may have and that may be able to fix your issue. If that did not work, there is another way that we can check uh, to try to find a solution to this problem. That would be to try to disable and re-enable USB controllers. So in the same device manager, expand the option called Universal Serial Bus Controllers, which is right here. Uh, it may be located in a different, uh, you know, um, sequence on your device. There may be some other devices underneath here. So just make sure that you expand this option called Universal Serial Bus Controllers. And in here, look for any USB bus controller item that is disabled. On this computer, you can see that we have an item that is disabled because we see this arrow pointing down. Again, this could happen because of a Windows update or it could be because there is a driver update or some update happened on your computer and that resulted in disabling uh, this particular uh, item. So if you see any of these items are disabled, you should go ahead and enable it. To re-enable, you can select the item that is disabled, right click and select enable device or double click on the item and then go to driver and under driver, click the button called enable device, this one. And that will refresh your device manager and enable that device. If all of these items are enabled, but you still having issues with your USB ports, another thing you can do is to disable each of these items and re-enable it. To do that, simply you had to select each one of these items, right click and select disable device and it'll give you a pop-up like this saying, do you want to disable this item? And you're gonna say yes, and that will disable that USB item. And then you can go ahead and re-enable it by right-clicking on it and enabling the device. And again, you can do the same thing by just double-clicking on the item and going into driver, and you can disable it here as well, right here, like that. And you can re-enable it right after like again clicking on this and that will re-enable that item. This should potentially fix any of the USB port issues that you are experiencing. And if those things did not work, another thing you can do actually go ahead uh, to the website of your motherboard or to the website of the USB card, uh, the manufacturer of your USB ports um, uh, cards, for example, Intel Corporation 
and then try to find drivers. So if there is a driver update, you can go ahead and try that as well. To do that, basically select this uh, item or whatever the item that you want to update, right click, select driver update, and then you can go through the process. Or again, you can double click on it and go to the driver and then you can select the driver update and it will pop up the same window which you can go through to update the drivers. So that's everything for today. Hopefully this will help you fix your USB ports that's not currently working. Until next time, good luck and have a nice day.